From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs. Jason Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from Kansas City from just inside the 20 a short kick and they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35 line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 Mahomes taps this forward it's a jet sweep Second and nine. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's got his man, that's Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mahomes to throw once more. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank you. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. 
For the first play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Once again, it's Mostert. And the Chiefs' D closes in on him again, and they drop him behind the line. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. He is going to find Hill here. He's got room at the 30. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball is gone. He didn't pull up. Here's a toss play right to Moster. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphins' score. Raheem Mostert taking it in from seven yards away. And the Dolphins are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. That's caught at the one. And he is not going to make it. They stop him up short. And this will remain a 6-0 ball game. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They go play fake. Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A nice gain of 21 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. 6-0 our score after one. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. The right side going to be caught by Hardman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 30. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. On first down, Mahomes. That's going to be caught. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, 30 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Butker, he's on target. And they take the lead here at 7-6. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. 
And a short kick taken at about the 16. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is going to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Tua. And that is incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. One of these quarterbacks going to learn. You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. Oh, well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take over at their own 41. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit. That's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Mahomes now on first down. This is caught. And in for the Chiefs' touchdown. Patrick Mahomes fighting Nicole Hardman. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And the lead is up to eight. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. The 30. 10, 5. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Miami. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They're starting to put some space here. You know, first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. They jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of camping around a little bit, right, trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Here's Mahomes to throw. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now it's Mahomes again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives him a chance to regroup 
relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. Mahomes now to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. From the six. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Well, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The 40. 20. 10. 5. And he will score. Touchdown, Chiefs. And people still trying to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter. And boom, we got points on the board. And you just identified why the bulk of stadiums have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. Extra point by Bucker is on target, and the lead is now two. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Play action, now it's Tua. Blitz coming, and down he goes. They dial up the corner, blitz that time, and it delivers to the two of a nine-yard loss. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. 
It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Tua on fourth down. He's got a man complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. On play action, here's Tua. This one finds Wilson downfield. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run the toss to Mostert. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Tua sets up to pass it. That swung out to Mostert. Touchdown! Raheem Mostert, a five-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have retaken a third-quarter lead. Didn't have anything downfield, swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down? We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was it successful. We saw a touchdown, too. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception. So we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Now Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. And again, it's Mahomes. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Mahomes will throw for it. And he's got it. The try for two is successful. And it pushes the lead up to a field goal. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, as the offense begins another drive here, a pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. 
They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? Two-play drive. And what do we call that? Short-lived? Very. <laughs> Very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Joshua Williams with a pick. He's at the 50. 30. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now here's Mahomes. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. And next time, Brandon, I think you might want to consider running it because those defensive backs, they were plastered to the receivers, and they weren't letting up as that play went on. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And that's caught inside the 35. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll run right side with Mostert. And some room to run now. And he'll take this into the end zone for a jump.